The COVID-19 pandemic has not only caused millions of deaths and infections, but also disrupted the lives and livelihoods of billions of people around the world. Among the most affected are women and girls, especially in developing countries, who face multiple challenges and risks due to the pandemic. One of the areas where women and girls have been severely impacted is education. According to UNESCO estimates, around 129 million girls are out of school globally, including 32 million of primary school age and 97 million of secondary school age. The pandemic has worsened the situation, as school closures have interrupted the learning process and increased the risk of dropout for many girls. Why is education so important for women and girls? Because it is their human right, a global development priority, and a strategic investment for the future. Educated women and girls tend to have better health outcomes, higher incomes, fewer children, and more opportunities to participate in decision-making and leadership roles. A recent World Bank study estimates that the limited educational opportunities for girls cost countries between 15 trillion US dollars and 30 trillion dollars in lost lifetime productivity and earnings. But the pandemic has threatened these benefits by disrupting access to quality education for women and girls. In many developing countries, where internet connectivity and digital devices are scarce, remote learning is not an option for many girls. They also face additional barriers such as poverty, cultural norms and practices, poor infrastructure, violence and fragility that prevent them from continuing their education. For example, some girls may be forced to take on more household chores or care responsibilities during the pandemic, leaving them less time and energy for learning. Some may face increased pressure to marry early or undergo female genital mutilation as a way of coping with economic hardship or social insecurity. Some may experience gender-based violence or sexual exploitation at home or in their communities, affecting their physical and mental health. Some may lack access to essential services such as health care, nutrition, sanitation and hygiene, which are vital for their well-being and learning. These challenges have long-term consequences for women and girls' education, empowerment and potential. If they are unable to return to school once they reopen, they may miss out on the skills and knowledge they need to thrive in a changing world. They may also lose their voice and agency in shaping their own lives and contributing to their societies. That is why it is urgent and essential to protect and promote women and girls' education during and after the pandemic. This requires concerted efforts from governments, donors, civil society, private sector and communities to ensure that education systems are resilient, inclusive and gender responsive. Some of the actions that can be taken include Providing financial support and incentives for girls to enroll and stay in school, such as scholarships, cash transfers, or vouchers. Ensuring that schools are safe and supportive environments for girls, free from violence, harassment, and discrimination. Providing gender-sensitive curricula and teaching materials that reflect the needs and interests of girls and challenge harmful stereotypes training teachers and school leaders on how to address gender issues and support girls' learning and well-being, expanding access to digital technologies and online platforms that can facilitate remote learning and bridge the digital divide, providing comprehensive sexuality education and reproductive health services that can help girls make informed choices about their bodies and futures, engaging parents, families and communities in supporting girls' education and challenging social norms that limit their potential. By taking these actions today, we can ensure that women and girls' education is not only protected but also transformed by the pandemic. We can ensure that they have equal opportunities to learn, grow and achieve their dreams. We can ensure that they are not left behind in the global recovery from COVID-19.